stars at night are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas, the prairie sky is wide and high. Deep in the heart of Texas, the coyotes wail along the trail. Deep in the heart of Texas, the rabbits rush around the bush. Deep in the heart of Texas. She asked me, son, when I grow old, will you buy me a house of gold? And when your father turns to stone, will you take care of me? She asked me, son, when I grow old, will you buy me a house of gold? And when your father turns to stone, will you? All right, so we are at a Texas History Museum. This is awesome. It's this is like the place where they met as a Congress and like formed Texas. Your last president committed suicide. He so hated the state. He's New Mexican, so he always he always rags on on Texas because he's just jealous that Texas was its own country. I would. That is what Texas used to look like. This is what we look like right now. That's what we used to look like. He's still a gamer. I want to ride the horse, man. Won't let me. Is that Abe Lincoln? <laughs> <laughs> Look, let's go. Let's go cow tipping. Go cow tipping. Hold up. Oh, well. Oh, I'm inside the cow. Let's say we up and left this town and turned our future upside. We got a Texas flag. Justin too. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, we're going into like a uh, second museum that's here. So I gotta leave behind my, my beautiful Texas flag, but I will be back. I will be back. I will be back. Ooh, we're a place in Texas, do not enter. There we go. Much better. When your father turns to stone, will you take care of me? I will make you green of everything you see. I'll put you on the map. I'll cure you of disease. I'll put you on the map. I'll cure you of disease. All right, so we got home. We went to that place. And for those of you that were kind of confused by that, uh, what that actually was was in that area, the actual building that it happened in is not there anymore. Um, I don't really know what happened to it. It just got destroyed or whatever. They rebuilt it. 
Um, essentially what that, that place was, was that was uh, the area which the original location in which they wrote the Declaration of Independence for Texas, the Texan Declaration of Independence, when we got away from Mexico and became our own country. For those of you that didn't know, that's your history lesson one-on-one -on -one with Zach. Yeah, we actually were our country for a, a period of time. So I ended up getting that flag as I showed you guys, and I hung it up. I hung it up. It looks so cool on this wall. This is exactly what I wanted. I just wanted to be like astonished when I walk in. Like walk in and oh, this is cool. Oh, bam, Texas. And I'm gonna take that thing everywhere we go. So I'm gonna like make some little like marks where these tacks should go. And uh, I'm gonna take this wherever I go. And every time I go on vacation, I'm gonna take a picture with that. And uh, that's gonna kind of be like my new tradition. Now we have a conundrum. I got this other one, which is the come and take it flag and I know a lot of you guys are not going to know what this is this is really just something that is uh, special and significant for Texans because this was it's upside down oh geez okay 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 all right all right you guys can look up more background on it I'm just going to kind of give some brief uh, so during the Texas battles uh, for independence against Mexico we actually ended up fighting this battle that's in uh, Gonzales and that's kind of in south south Eastern Texas. I think it's kind of near Houston. Essentially what they did was they had this little cannon and the Mexican troops wanted for the Texans to give over the cannon and They said no and they had this flag that said come and take it. That's what that's the cannon They said come and take the cannon and uh, they ended up, I don't know like if people actually like died in that battle, I think it was just that the this this woman ended up firing the cannon and bam, it scared off the Mexican troops. But this has kind of become something that's like really special for Texans that come and take it fly. There's all sorts of Texans that fly this uh, flag in their yard, fly this on their cars and everything. So uh, I got me one of these. So I hope y'all did enjoy the little history lessons that I kind of gave you today. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy you know seeing all that Texan pride today. As always guys, I hope y'all did enjoy today's vlog. Hope you guys have a great sales day. Be sure to drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. And as always guys, this has been Zach and my Texas flag and Longhorn. And we'll see you later. She asked me